All right, it is Thursday, May 14, 2020, and I'm starting us off praying. This group of women is taking the nation for our King Jesus Christ. And I'm going to start off with the reading of the word to usher in the presence of God and the spirit of worship. This is Exodus 14. Now the Lord spoke to Moses saying, Tell the sons of Israel to turn back and camp at Pi Haroth between Migdal and the sea. You shall camp in front of Baal Zephon opposite it by the sea. Pharaoh will say of the sons of Israel, They are wandering aimlessly in the land. The wilderness has shut them in. Thus I will harden Pharaoh's heart and he will chase after them and will be honored through Pharaoh. And I will be honored through Pharaoh and all his army. And the Egyptians will know that I am the Lord. And they did so. When the king of Egypt was told that the people had fled, Pharaoh and his servants had a change of heart toward the people. They said, what is this we have done, that we have let Israel go from serving us? So he made his chariot ready and took his people with him. And he took 600 select chariots and all the other chariots of Egypt with officers over all of them. The Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and he chased after the sons of Israel as the sons of Israel were going out boldly. Then the Egyptians chased after them with all their horses and chariots and Pharaoh, his horsemen and his army, and they overtook them camping by the sea beside Pi Kahiroth in front of Baal Zephon. As Pharaoh drew near, the sons of Israel looked, and behold, the Egyptians were marching after them, and they became very frightened. So the sons of Israel cried out to the Lord. Then they said to Moses, Is it because there are no graves in Egypt that you have taken us away to die in the wilderness? Why have you dealt with us in this way, bringing us out of Egypt? Is this not the word that we spoke to you in Egypt, saying, Leave us alone that we may serve the Egyptians? For it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the wilderness. But Moses said to the people, Do not fear. Stand by and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians whom you have seen today, you will never see them again forever. The Lord will fight for you while you keep silent. Then the Lord said to Moses, why are you crying out to me? Tell the sons of Israel to go forward. As for you, lift up your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it. And the sons of Israel shall go through the midst of the sea on dry land. As for me, behold, I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians so that they will go in after them. And I will be honored through this Pharaoh and all his army, through his chariots and his horsemen. Then the Egyptians will know that I am the Lord when I am honored through Pharaoh, through his chariots and his horsemen. The angel of God, who has been going before the camp of Israel, moved and went behind and went behind them. And the pillar of cloud moved from before them and stood behind them. So it came between the camp of Egypt and the camp of Israel. And there was the cloud along with the darkness. There was the cloud along with the darkness, yet it gave light at the night. Thus the one did not come near the other all night. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord swept the sea back by a strong east wind all night and turned the sea into dry land so the waters were divided. The sons of Israel went through the midst of the sea on the dry land, and the waters were like a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. Then the Egyptians took up pursuit, and all of Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen went in after them into the midst of the sea. At the morning watch, the Lord looked down on the army of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and cloud and brought the army of the Egyptians into confusion. He caused their chariot wheels to swerve, and he made them drive with difficulty. So the Egyptians said, let us flee from Israel, for the Lord is fighting for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord said to Moses, stretch out your hand over the sea so that the waters may come back over the Egyptians, over their chariots and over their horsemen. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to its normal state at daybreak, while the Egyptians were fleeing right into it. Then the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. The waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen, even Pharaoh's entire army that had gone into the sea after them. Not even one of them remained, but the sons of Israel walked on dry land through the midst of the sea, and the waters were like a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day from the hand of the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians dead on the seashore. Then Israel saw the great power which the Lord had caused against the Egyptians, and the people feared the Lord, and they believed in the Lord and his servant Moses. 
Then Moses and the sons of Israel sang this song to the Lord and said, I will sing to the Lord, for he is highly exalted. The horse and its rider he has hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song. This is my God, and I will praise him. My father's God, and I will extol him. The Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his army he has cast into the sea, and the choicest of his officers were drowned in the Red Sea. The deeps cover them. They went down into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is majestic in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. And in the greatness of your excellence, you overthrow those who rise up against you. You send forth your burning anger, and it consumes them as chaff. At the blast of your nostrils, the waters were piled up. The flowing waters stood up like a heap. The deeps were congealed in the heart of the sea. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil. My desires shall be gratified against them. I will draw out my sword. My hand will destroy them. You blew with your wind. The sea covered them. They sank like lead in the mighty waters. Who is like you among the gods, O Lord? Who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in praises, working wonders? You stretched out your right hand, and the earth swallowed them. In your loving kindness, you have led the people whom you have redeemed. In your strength, you have guided them to your holy habitation. The peoples have heard. They tremble. Anguish has gripped the inhabitants of Philistia. Then the chiefs of Edom were dismayed. The leaders of Moab trembling grips them. All the inhabitants of Canaan have melted away. Terror and dread fall upon them. By the greatness of your arm, they are motionless as stone. Until your people pass over, O Lord, until the people pass over whom you have purchased. You will bring them and plant them in the mountain of your inheritance, the place, O Lord, which you have made for your dwelling, the sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands have established. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. For the horses of Pharaoh with his chariots and his horsemen went into the sea, and the Lord brought back the waters of the sea on them. But the sons of Israel walked on dry land through the midst of the sea. Miriam the prophetess, Aaron's sister, took the timbrel in her hand, and all the women went out after her with timbrels and dancing. Miriam answered them, Sing to the Lord, for he is highly exalted. The horse and his rider he has hurled into the sea. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. You are the God of all flesh, and nothing is too hard for you. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, and we praise you. We thank you, and we praise you. I lift up my prophet's staff, my mata, over the sea that's in front of us, this HR666 that is trying to bring in and usher in and come into agreement with the plans of the enemy for the end times outside of God's appointed time. And I say right now that the sea is drying up, opening up on both sides for the people of God to walk across in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you and we praise you for who you are for your majesty, your sacrifice, your great love, for conquering Satan and spoiling him and his cohorts, making a show of them and triumphing over them. Heavenly Father, I repent on behalf of my nation and elected officials for all actions contrary to your law and will. I repent on behalf of all believers who haven't stood up against the progression of evil in this country. I forgive and bless our governments and all participants in Jesus' name. I proclaim the blood of Jesus over myself, all elected officials in my country. I declare I'm the righteousness of God in Christ and have authority by covenant to pronounce the will of God over the United States of America and over my state, Washington. In Jesus' name, I bind H.R. 6666 and every demonic force connected to it. I cast them out and away from our country. I loose the fire of God to burn this bill to ashes that fall to the ground, never to be resurrected. I decree it dies immediately and may not resurface hidden in any other legislation within 10 generations. I bind every voice of support for this bill and command them to be silent now. I loose God's divine timeline for the United States into the hearts and souls of every citizen in Jesus' name. I set myself in agreement with everyone who's prayed for the destruction of this bill. I declare this all in faith and seal it by Holy Spirit. I lift up my prophet's mata and declare that the Lord is closing the sea over this bill now in Jesus' name. 
and the pharaohic spirit, the spirit that likes to keep God's people in bondage, is being drowned in the sea right now in Jesus' mighty name. And it is so. Hallelujah. I give you praise. I give you honor. I give you glory. I magnify you. I exalt you. I bless you. And I praise you, God Most High, defeater of Pharaoh and his armies, victor and conqueror, our King of kings and Lord of lords, Jesus Christ, our Messiah. Amen. Amen.